So hello everyone, today I will show you how you can export your Blender model to Unreal Engine 5 without doing any kind of uh, reassigning of your textures or anything okay. You have to just export your model into Unreal Engine 5 and all your texture will be automatically assigned to your model. You don't have to be retexture or reassign your texture in Unreal Engine 5. So I'm showing this thing in Blender. You can use any software it doesn't matter so the first thing you have to do you have to make sure that you bake all your textures into single uh, texture files so if i go to my shading tab uh, you can see there is my shadings and in this one you can see i baked all my textures into this three folders not folder like three textures base color roughness and normal okay so you have to do this thing because if you try to export the blender noise texture or any kind of blender textures into unreal engine 5 then it will be not exported because it is not supported by unreal engine 5 so you have to make sure that you bake your texture properly first in blender or any other software and then you export your texture with model into unreal engine 5 so my textures are already baked in you can see you can watch some tutorials how to bake texture it's very simple so after doing that you can see this is a simple hoodie that i make so what you have to do you have to go to the file export and you don't have to use fbx the reason of that is if you try to export this thing with fbx your texture will be separated from your mesh and you have to reassign your textures so if you don't want to do that thing you have to go to the GLB, this one, and you have to export in this format. So I will just uh, save our location. So you have to make sure that if you are having any kind of animation, then you can enable this thing. But right now I don't have any kind of animation. I will cancel. I will untick this thing. Then you have to make sure that everything is good enough. Transform. And in this one, you have to enable selected object, visible object and you can use this one also because you are exporting this thing in unreal engine 5 so it will it may help you because unreal engine 5 has their own coordinate so when you export anything from any other software to unreal engine 5 then it will create some kind of weird rotation on scale problems so you can check this box and then what you can do you can leave this thing like that and you can export this thing okay so when your export is done you will get this type of file glb files and what you have to do you have to open your unreal engine and i will minimize this thing so now what you have to do you have to go to your content browser just create a folder i will just make this thing dry and then what you have to do you have to drag drop this thing and now you will see you will get a different type of look because in fbx you get something different and in glb you will get something like this okay so you have to make sure that everything is good import lod's if you want to lod's to be imported then you can check this thing there is a import animation option if your character or your anything has any kind of animation then you have to check this box and you have to select the skeleton also but in my case i don't have any kind of animation so i will just leave that thing like that and And you don't have to change anything. I think it will work fine. If it causes any kind of issue, then we will see later. But right now, I think it is looking fine. Then you have to press import. Voila. So you have to press import and it will take some time to import the files. And now you can see all files are imported properly. And you will notice one thing that your mesh has all the textures already located to your material and it is already there so what you have to do now you have to just drag drop your material like this and all your textures are there okay like this you don't have to be doing any kind of texture stuff like you don't have to be relocate or retexture anything you have to just drag drop and all your texture will be there okay so i will recommend you to use this way instead of fbx i think fbx has its own benefit on some other things but for this type of things if you just want to export the static mesh with all your texture baked in not baked in but all your texture properly fit into that so you don't have to do any kind of uh texturing in unreal engine 5 then export your mesh with glb it will help you a lot okay so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching